Painkiller already, episode 274. Goodness gracious. Damn. Yeah, it's been going on for a while. So, for people that don't yeah, know... Yeah, the video watching is way better. They will notice that, perhaps. Uh, Tim Kennedy is a UFC fighter. Uh, he's currently ranked number 7th, but that ranking is bullshit, because he beat, like, five of the people above him. Something like that. Three? All right. <laughs> and uh, Green Beret, uh, paratrooper. I'm probably messing some of this up. And um, currently a, what are you, a special, like, security guard fighting pirates or something what are you doing lately tim <laughs> yes um i do that um i mean if it involves being behind a gun i pretty much do it yeah i, I was gonna head there so i read on the internet so it must be true that a lot of people like 50 cals because they just shoot through all these like stone walls and stuff that somebody might hide behind perhaps. yeah so again it goes, so the 50 cal was originally designed to be used against equipment Mm -hmm. It wasn't an anti-personnel weapon. It was to shoot the engine of a car or to shoot a helicopter that was hovering. That was the design and the intent behind that bullet. That's why we stuck them on airplanes to shoot down other airplanes. Um, that's why we put them on top of tanks. Um, the 338 was designed to shoot people. And um, that's why I asked, well, what am I doing? I would pick what gun and what caliber bullet I would be using depending on what my mission was. So if I'm going to be, you know, sniper cover for a team of soldiers that was moving into um, a village, I'd maybe take a 50 cal because I'm going to be able to shoot through walls. I'm going to be able to shoot through doors, um, you know, depending on how far away I am, uh, you know, compared to just trying to take out a single target at whatever distance compared to having to engage a whole bunch of dudes at variable ranges, so it just all depends. All right. Hmm. Really wish Kyle wasn't lagging out. I want to hear. How his... bad am I lagging? Smoke. Smoke. Fire. Not bad. Mm, An improvement. Not nearly as Almost bad. talk to you. Oh, yeah. Kyle, what would you take to say? Yeah, oh, oh, I'm you're sorry. Going through this. Tim, if you're... Oh, we're going through this, and I'm like, my 308's there, my 338's there, my 50 cal's right there. Like, I wish my fucking microphone would work. Tim, are you familiar with Kyle and his other channel? FPS Russia? No. Have you seen this? Oh, okay. Uh, Kyle has a 6 million subscriber um, uh, YouTube channel where he shoots guns and blows things up. Wait, and... what's the name of it? Yeah, we have FPS Russia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Man. That's really? him. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> you look so much cleaner when you're not, when you're not dressed really like a redneck. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a clean guy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah he smells good. Don't cool. believe his <laughs> persona. I, good hygiene and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I floss. Oh uh -huh. no, I'm a hundred. Yeah, I'm totally a huge fan. I actually, I think I follow your page. Yeah. Well, you are one of such. Wow, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So he has a. Uh, yeah, we have a good time. Yes, yeah, I, I could. How are we not coming shot you, together you, then? You, What's that about? I mean, you want to shoot? You can just come shoot. Well, you come shoot. <laughs> We're down in Georgia. Well, I'm in Texas. Where shoot. are you? Oh, I'm coming out of Texas pretty soon to do some explosive training stuff. So. What part of Texas? Uh, I'm in Austin. Do, look at my Instagram feed and look what I've done in the past two weeks. You need to come and play with me. I don't mean that weird. <laughs> no, maybe I did. I like you Austin. It's fun there. No, just oh. an appropriate way. We usually go to 6th Street. We've had a good, I have a, I've had a good time in Austin before. You can't shoot on 6th Street. That's boring. <laughs> well, I, well, there was a guy who was shooting on 6th Street, but they took him away. <laughs> <laughs> that poor drinking. Pigs. <laughs> hey, ISIS. I, yeah. I just put this together. Yeah, this is I, nothing new to me. So what you do is, <laughs> you take the uh, like a feeding trough. You got the food in it, and you got the debt cord set up. So when they reach their head over into the feeding trough, it takes all their heads off in one blast. I'm way ahead on uh, of you with the uh, the situation. We've been doing this for years. If you want, <laughs> there is no way that for years you have been laying debt cord in troughs and beheading pigs five or six at a time. There's no, no, I refuse they, to believe that you just have headless not the debt cord, pig bodies. Not the debt cord. That's a new thing that we've come up with. But we have been making, I, I really can't talk about it. But, you know, we were working with the people who had explosive licenses in, in Texas. So I guess, yeah, it was all 100% legal. Yeah, they would take a bucket of tannerite and, you know, ball bearings and stuff like that and yeah. cover it with peanut butter and banana stuff the pigs liked a lot. And then Kyle, when they got close enough. In terms have of you, Have you used uh, ECT for the same purpose? Used what? 
ECT, it's a directional shape charge used for cutting. Into, it, like if, if they have demo license, they can pick this stuff up. That's a good thing. Tell them to do that. ECT, 800 grain. Do it. What okay. do you use it for? Um, well, you could use it to cut metal, for example. Um, you could also use it to uh, cut an invasive species of pig. Mm-hmm. Tim, are you explosive trained? We've uh, we've hunted them yes. out of helicopters before. Kyle, if you do take Tim up on his offer, you could pick his brain. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that would be, we'll have be fun. Good. I'll uh, I'll swap contact information with you whenever we get done here. Okay. It's um, actually type it in the box. You can you can have it. Sounds like you're getting a little better, Kyle. I hope so. Well, that's good. Ah, fuck. Not even close. But yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's so much fucking lag. Yeah. But um, yeah, we have a good time. I I, uh, I I agreed with you on the on all the sniper stuff. I know I'm still lagging, but as long as I keep talking, then it then it doesn't matter about the lag because I'm the only one talking. But yeah, uh, the 50 cal is like anti material. You, you know, you don't really take cal. That gun back there, I've got a Desert Tactical 50 BMG, and it it actually shoots sub MOA. It's one of the few 50 cal's that do. So I actually like that one. Um, and I've got like a 338 Pua AR-15 over here, and a Desert Tac 338 uh, bolt gun. Um, so I like the 338 Lapua, the fact that a lot of the military branches went with 300 Win Mag a few years ago, because I bought all 338. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I don't have any of those guns. I can. Why? I'm not trying to belittle you. Who shoots the least out of you two? Mm. I, um, I mean, I just went shooting like three days ago. I'm going I, shooting I, tomorrow. Well, you you could take day. a very inexperienced <laughs> shooter, and you could put a very good spotter behind him, and that spotter telling the inexperienced shooter what to do, um, you know, with a few very basic fundamentals of good sight pitcher and a good trigger squeeze, and doing what the spotter says can get hits at great dif- distances out and yeah yeah it, i guess it, that it, makes more sense if you were to yeah. put it in top gun terms right maverick pulls the trigger goose tells him how but i suppose it's actually yeah the our audience will get that yeah they'll take that to heart they'll understand people don't that. know top gun and you're fucking making. children no none of our audience <laughs> knows top gun you old man <laughs> so, tim you gotta run i do oh um well man, uh you have a really very enjoyed interesting having life. You. I just, um, yeah i'm enjoying picking your brain very interesting. Thank you for coming on, man. I've been looking forward to it. I, uh, yeah. Thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, too. Yeah. Come back anytime. Yeah. I'm sure you had a bad internet connection. I'm still a great fan and looking forward to shooting things with you. Sure. Yeah. I put my number in there, and, and Chiz can give you my email if you prefer to do that. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm coming to Texas in a few weeks, and I'm, I'm going to do some crazy stuff. So, awesome. Be fun to hook up. All right. <laughs> you guys have a good night. See ya. Right. <laughs> good night. This is the second time this has happened. Like, it, I, I remember on the Milo thing, like, I, I liked Milo. I knew his stuff. I had seen, like, hours of footage, and he falls in love with Kyle, right? But now Tim comes on. Like, we've got, like, a friend in common. I've been cheering for this guy for years. And uh, he's like, Kyle, we should hang out. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> See, Kyle's probably, you're probably a little bit happy that Kyle had that issue the whole time. Let yeah. you get some more questions in. <laughs> No, it, it looks a lot like your iPhone picture because I'm not a gifted photographer. Um, but anyway. that's one that I'm. Hard, it's a hard sell on because I know there's probably a ton of stuff like lighting and whatnot if you're a real photographer. But it also seems like with how many filters and options you have to change the product and post that you could take a real garbage pic and then Instagram it up and put on that like show of like, oh yeah, I just walked out into the snow in my Uggs and snapped this pic with my mom's Canon D60, you know, a $1,500 camera. And then I threw on the smoky <coughs> undertone and posted it. Like, so I don't know. I, don't know I just, uh, I went upstairs to grab a soda and uh, Kitty said that. Got um, lost? No, Kitty said that Tim had emailed her and I guess I'm going to some sort of, Special Forces slash UFC fighter retreat. Um, <laughs> I guess there's, I don't know UFC very well, but I guess there's three champions that are going to be there. And uh, and uh, there's also going to be some like SEAL team guys there, apparently. Oh, this um, is so we're going to do like repel it. <laughs> yeah, there's some kind of, <laughs> we're going to do like, it's some sort of, uh, I, 
I've been to these special forces training grounds before, so I think it's gonna. They they mentioned something like that, like a weekend where we're gonna like cook out and they're gonna be repelling. And he said he'd show me some MMA stuff because I told him I had like a like some interest in that. So look at what he's saying. Be... <laughs> this is like if you came I back and no, you I were like, him. oh, like... my kitty knows a GM, and I got tickets to all the playoff games for the <laughs> NHL this year. Probably just throw them away. Like. <laughs> <laughs> He asked me if I like knew anything about um, MMA or anything, and I was like, well, I took like three months of uh, jiu-jitsu, so not really. And he's like, oh, well, that's cool. At least you know like the, the basic basics. He's like, there's going to be uh, a mat there. He's like, we're all going to be rolling and stuff, and uh, it'd be fun to like get some video of you like you know getting some champ in a headlock or something. So I think we're going to have a good time. That sounds awesome. Yeah. It's going to be real cool. I'm just making all this up to fuck with Woody, by the way. <laughs> I'm just making all that up to fuck with Woody, by the way. <laughs> oh, I Did believe... you see his face? Hook, line, and sink it. <laughs> yes. Did you see his face? He thought me and Conor McGregor were going to be, like, drinking beers in the woods, and he was... <laughs> I was, like, legit believing it all. I was like, yeah, and when Milo came on, he wanted to fuck him. So, you know, that's just... I'm Kyle's God, you could friend. See... You could see the resentment building up <laughs> as he like, went on and on. The things that Woody would want to do the most, like, and, and that's so that's what I described. I described a Woody weekend. That that sounded awesome, though, I'm right? Still like, a I would love sad. that myself. I'm not over it entirely. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you wake up from a nightmare. I was thinking that, and you're still, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I just, yeah. I sometimes that's, that's dream that Jackie cheats on me, and I wake up angry with her. You know, like it, it's not okay for her to misbehave in my sleep. So, yeah, that's, that's it's kind of where I am. She, you should ask Connor McGregor free. if he has that she's same problem. Free. I will. I'm going to ask him when we get to Oregon to the, the retreat. <laughs> and, am I still invited? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're. Oh, that's, I should have invited Taylor. I should. Oh, that would have been the coup de grace. That's the coup de grace. He wants Taylor to come. <laughs> Oh, he he was watching the podcast and man, he thinks it's great. That one dude always wearing the blue stuff is great. The other yeah, guy, the, the old guy, don't bring him. Yeah, <laughs> I should have done a little research and found out who like the captain of the blues is, and like yeah. and, and like he's gonna be there too, and like Gretzky's there too. They're all big hockey fans, and Gretzky likes to come. And you know, he we've actually got an indoor rink. We're gonna hit a few pucks. You ever get on the ice? <laughs> yeah. No, never, never. But you know, like I'll do it in sneakers. That's cool. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, would he like has ice skates at his house? I would wager. Oh, like yeah, he's sharp. ready to roll. <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. got a. Yeah. Do you have a stick handy? Like if you needed, if there were a rink downstairs, could you mostly suit up and go play? Yeah, yeah. So, I got like yeah, fifteen cool. sticks. Ten. I've got all my. Stuff. I have more sticks from next to. I was gonna say I have more sticks than guns. I think that might be a tall order, but I have. Oh. I've got a. I've got a dozen sticks, fifteen feet from me. I've got the an Al McKinnis stick I could take some shots with. If I want to ruin the, the more value. I exaggerated with that, the, the, the meaner I felt and the worse I felt about myself. <laughs> because I felt like, you know, in the same way that afterwards you were still kind of let down, I was building it myself up to, and, <laughs> and you know, I was, I'm convincing myself in my own acting uh, 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 um, technique that I actually am going to do these things. I'm believing it myself. So afterwards I was like, man, that retreat is going to be fun. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh no! Shit, I, made, I made that. See, I made that shit up. That's why you were taking so long to come back from getting your sodas. I can picture you in the bathroom, like jogging in place, like, all right, how now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? How now? <laughs> and then I can get back in and just spin your web of lies. Yeah. Um, God, that, I like to do I, that sometimes. The way and, Woody's and... looking, it actually makes me feel bad because I can see that you. Yeah, really upset. <laughs> that made I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, I can see it too. That's why I brought it back up. I, I apologize. It's okay. I mean, it's a joke. <laughs> I know. It was a mean joke now. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. That's right, fat boy. <laughs>